kitchen is author, recipe developer, and food photographer, Muriel Benekissa. Hey, Muriel. Hi, Muriel. How are you? Thank you. Fantastic, and I'm so thrilled that you are here to show off your brand new cookbook yes. baby, Savoring. This is such a stunning book. Yeah. Thank you so much. So tell us a little bit about the recipes that are in this book. Yes, so the book is fully vegan, mm -hmm. so all the recipes don't contain any meat, fish, dairy, eggs, yeah. um, but they're also inspired by my upbringing. Okay. So I was born in the Republic of Congo. Mm -hmm. My dad is Congolese, my mom is Russian, but has a Ukrainian, uh, grew up in Ukraine. Yeah. And so my family immigrated to Canada 20 years ago. Oh, wow. And so the recipes in the book kind of follow that journey. Yeah. There are recipes uh, that I grew up eating, mm. recipes that are still classics in my household. Yeah. And also, the book is called Savoring. Yeah. And the idea behind Savoring is really to encourage cooks and readers to really take their time in the kitchen, enjoy the process of cooking, yeah. bringing food to life, and really savor the process. It smells arguably too good in here. I am very <laughs> excited. So what are we starting off with yeah. from this book? Okay, so the first recipe is the saka saka. Okay. So it's a Congolese recipe. Yeah. It's made with cassava leaves, spinach, mm -hmm. green bell peppers. It sits for hours on the stove stop, cooks. Mm -hmm. All those flavors kind of develop. Mm -hmm. And then we garnish it with a few special things which we have in front of us. Okay. So you have some peanuts that you can chop and I have some parsley and green onions. Beautiful. So we kind of finish the dish with a little bit of that on top. Listen, I love uh, a savory sprinkle, and that's essentially what we're doing right yes, now. Yes, this is, this is what we're doing. I, and a peanut, oh, it's a so good. A little bit of peanuts, mm -hmm. yeah, it adds a little bit of a crunch since, you know, it's kind of a stew, right? Yeah. So it adds a nice little texture. Whoops, I have a big chunk of parsley. Listen, I love parsley too, that's the healthy there you bite. Go. Yeah, there the really you healthy go. bite. Oh my gosh, Imagine. can I give you a weapon of choice? Yes. Well, let's get, let's get into Thank this, you. okay. Let's oh my gosh, it. I'm so excited, okay. I'm going big. Whoops. Oh my god. Muriel. <laughs> like it? <laughs> that is so good. Oh my gosh, that little bit of peanut butter in there? Mm hmm. Oh my gosh, that, that nice little touch at the end. Holy Toledo, that's delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are we moving on to okay. now? Mm -hmm. So now we're, uh, this, these are pampushkis. Mm -hmm. I like to refer to them as like a hug from a Ukrainian grandmother. Okay. They're these pillowy dinner rolls, mm -hmm. uh, they're savory, they're herbaceous, they're really, really good. Mm -hmm. um, so the pampushkis are already ready. Yeah. We're gonna finish up with a garnish. Okay. So we can grate some. Um, Garlic okay, in this little bowl. Love it. Using the microplane. All Just... three cloves? Yes. Girl. All three yeah. cloves. <laughs> it, it is garlicky. I love it. Yes. Okay. Oh, can I? Can I also have the knife? Oh, girl. Please. Yes, of course I, I got you that knife. There you oh, go. Thank you. And I'm just gonna chop up some dill here. Oh, I love the dill. And so this is inspired more from your kind of Russian and Ukrainian side, right? Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And these dinner rolls, you can have them just like that as a side dish, mm -hmm. but you can also have them, um, you know, with soup that we're gonna try a little bit later. Okay. We're gonna throw it all into this little bowl. Um, okay, wait, there you go. There you go, we got it. There you go. Oh my gosh, that dill? The dill. Okay, what else goes into this mix? Okay, so into this you add some water. Okay. Um, we also have some oil here. Mm -hmm. Just like a neutral oil? Just a neutral oil. Mm -hmm. And then some fine sea salt. Mm -hmm. Then here, there you go. Beautiful. You wanna give it a whisk? I would love to give it a whisk. Oh and my gosh. And yes? the very last part mm -hmm. is all about Spooning this onto the pampush. With that rug, oh. With the raw garlic. <laughs> this is good. I am very excited yes. about this. So we just spoon yeah, this right over top? Yeah, you just spoon it all over top. And when the, if the pampushkis are just right out of the oven, yes. get to hear that little sizzle. Oh, that oh, little bit of heat. A little bit of heat. Mm, oh, this smells Very so good. good. Listen, you are never, if you're eating this, you're never getting sick either. No. You got no, all no, that no. garlic in no, there? No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> and then you finish it off with some coarse sea salt for oh. an extra crunch, crunch. and salt. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna Go. attempt to get into here. Yes. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! And I'm taking the garlickiest one, obviously. Of course. You Sorry, have to. everybody. When I when we meet later. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh! That is out of control. Okay. okay. So. Oh my gosh! Yes. I'm gonna keep eating this. Where okay. are we moving on to now? We're moving on to the borscht. This is my mom's recipe. Grew up eating it. It is a recipe that is very classic mm -hmm. in uh, Russian and Ukrainian, 
and in many Eastern European culture, yeah. countries, actually. So it features some cabbage, some grated carrots, Beautiful. a little bit of beets. Instead of the meat, mm -hmm. I have uh, beans, white beans. Oh, beautiful. In here. Now, so, how would you kind of serve this baby up? Yeah, so you serve this with a little bit of vegan sour cream mm -hmm. right here. I can add it on top. Beautiful. I mean, you can add a lot more than that. I was gonna say, you you're know? going you're going food stylist now. <laughs> I'm, I'm going yeah. food stylist. <laughs> yes, yeah. you know. Okay, there you go. And oh. then we can finish it off with some fresh dill. And a little bit of pepper. And a little bit of pepper. Beautiful, oh my gosh. Muriel, this has been so delicious. Huge congratulations on your absolutely beautiful new dish. I am so, so happy for you. Thank you so much, Mary. Now, and these recipes are just a few of the deliciousness in this amazing book. And thanks to Muriel, you're all going home with a copy of Savoring. <laughs> Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.